The second coming of Jesus Christ is the most anticipated event in human history, and it is soon to come. However, millions have been deceived on this topic. This video will reveal the truth so that you can be prepared. Hi, this is Dustin with Hope Through Prophecy. On this channel, we help you to better understand Bible prophecy and be prepared for the soon return of Jesus. If you're new, please subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our uploads. The return of Jesus to this earth is the blessed hope for all Christians. It captivates the imagination and warms the heart. However, many sincere Christians have dangerous misunderstandings about this great event that could cost them eternal life. Make sure to watch each of these 10 things that will happen when Jesus returns so that you can be ready. 1. When Jesus returns, every eye will see Him. Yes, the second coming of Jesus will be fully visible. Behold, He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see Him, and they also which pierced Him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of Him. Even so, Amen. Notice that every eye will witness this great event. In fact, the Bible compares the return of Jesus to an explosive blast of lightning bursting across the sky. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 2. When Jesus returns, every ear will hear Him. The return of Christ will be fully audible. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yes, the very trumpet of God will echo through the sky like claps of roaring thunder, so loud that it will even wake the dead. 3. When Jesus returns, all His angels will be with Him. At His first coming, Jesus came as a humble baby, but when He returns, it will be His conquering King, and all His mighty army will be with Him. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory. Friends, Jesus will not return alone. He will be accompanied by all of the heavenly host, a mighty throng of holy angels. 4. When Jesus returns, there will be a great earthquake. Upon the return of Jesus, the greatest earthquake in human history will rock this earth to its very core. And there were voices, and thunders, and lightnings. And there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake, and so great. In fact, the Bible says that this quake will be so powerful that even the mountains and islands will disappear and the cities of the earth will be devastated. 5. When Jesus returns, He will have a real body. Some people believe that Jesus will come back as a spiritual being, not possessing an actual human body. Is this true? Let us consider what the angels said when Jesus left this earth at His first coming, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Notice that the angel said that Jesus will return in like manner as he left. When he left this earth, Jesus had a real physical body. We know this because after he was resurrected, Jesus told his disciples, Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see. For a spirit hath not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. Jesus will return with this same physical body. There's a popular teaching in the Christian world today, known as the secret rapture. Friends, the Bible says nothing about such a thing. In fact, so far, we have seen that Jesus' return will be visible, audible, global, physical, and will be accompanied by a worldwide devastating earthquake. Friends, this great event will be no secrets. 6. When Jesus returns, He will come with His reward. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. 
This verse shows us that Jesus has already completed his judgment of every human being prior to his return. After all, he is bringing his reward with him. God's final warning to the world, the three angels' message, reveals that the judgment takes place in the end times before the return of Jesus, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come, and worship Him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Friends, God's judgment is taking place right now. For more information about the judgment and how you can stand victorious, just click on the card above. 7. When Jesus returns, the wicked will be slain. The popular secret rapture theory teaches that the wicked will be left alive after the second coming of Jesus. But friends, nothing could be further from the truth. The Bible says, And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. A verse that is often used to support the secret rapture is Luke 17, 36. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. However, this passage, Luke 17, 26 through 37, is speaking of the destruction of Sodom and of Noah's flood. In both of these cases, the righteous were saved and the wicked were destroyed. Speaking of the wicked, Jesus says in verse 37, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. This same scene of the birds feasting on the flesh of the wicked is described in Revelation 19, 7-8. In Luke 17, Jesus is making it clear that the wicked will be destroyed when he returns. This is in harmony with the rest of Scripture. 8. When Jesus returns, the righteous dead will be resurrected. Those who have been faithful to God and have accepted Jesus as their Savior and Lord, they will burst forth from the grave at the sound of His mighty voice. They have learned to love that voice, and now they will meet their blessed Savior face to face. I can imagine family members reuniting on that day, tears streaming down their face as they look up towards their loving King. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. 9. When Jesus returns, the righteous living will meet Him in the air. The righteous who are living when Christ returns will witness this spectacular event. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. You will notice that the righteous will meet the Lord in the air. Jesus will not touch the ground at His second coming. This is a crucial point that will help you to avoid being deceived. The Bible speaks of false Christ in the last days and warns us to not go after them. And they shall say to you, See here or see there. Go not after them nor follow them. 10. When Jesus returns, many will be unprepared. As we look at the world around us, the signs of the times are being fulfilled before our very eyes. Scripture warns that these things would happen and tells us to be ready when they do. These things have been happening since the beginning of time, but never with the intensity and frequency that they are happening today. This world can be compared to a pregnant woman whose labor pains are becoming more intense and frequent, signaling that she is soon to give birth. The Bible also describes those who mock the idea that Jesus is coming soon. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For those who don't prepare for it, Jesus' return will come like a thief in the night. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. This does not mean that Jesus' return will be a secret, but it means that many will be unprepared for it. Jesus warns us to be ready at all times for His return. Therefore be ye also ready, 
for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. We can be 100% certain that Jesus is coming again and that He has prepared a place just for you in His heavenly kingdom. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. My dear friend, sin cannot exist in the presence of a holy God. When Jesus returns, He will destroy sin and anyone who chooses to cling to it. Let us give our lives to Him today so that He can forgive our sins and give us the power to live a victorious life, preparing for His soon return. Jesus is inviting you today to allow Him into your life. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Will you let him in? If it is your desire to choose Jesus as your Savior and Lord and to be ready for his soon return, just write in the comment section below, Lord, I choose you today. Amen. If you would like to stay connected with me through text alerts or would like to find a church that teaches the Bible truths shared on this channel, just text HOPE to 50597. This video is part of a full playlist called Hope Through Prophecy. I encourage you to click on the link below to watch this playlist in order to be better prepared for Jesus' soon return. Also, make sure you are subscribed if you're new and like this video if it has been helpful. Remember friends, keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith.